Let's talk about, should we do women in gold? Yes, why don't we, as a kind of a change of pace, yeah. because then we'll, then we'll get to Hot Tub Time Machine 2 later. Women in Gold is the new film from Simon Curtis, who is the director of My Week with Marilyn, and he also did, okay. a long time ago, I was horrified to see how long ago this was, 1999, he did a TV version of David Copperfield with Daniel Radcliffe, which was just completely terrific. It was, I think, it, it was stretched over four nights, and it was a kind of a, one of these big Christmas yeah. costume drama spectaculars. Very, very well directed. So Simon Curtis's involvement in this is interesting, but it is less important than the involvement of Bob and Harvey Weinstein. The Weinstein Company, of course, these incredibly uh, shrewd players in the American award circuit cinema game. Yeah. And they will kind of spot trends in films that are doing well and that, you know, play well with audiences and uh, get nominated for awards and commission more films like them because they, you know, they're like blackjack players. You know, they, they, they feel that the table is hot yeah. and they want to keep playing. Now, Women in Gold is very, very, very like a film uh, called Philomena. Um, yeah, I was got that's what I said from, yes. this morning. It was Philomena or it was the love child of the Queen and the Thomas Crown affair. It's just, that's too clever. That's giving it too much credit. It is okay. just Philomena done again. You've got this, uh, it's a very middle-brow drama with a combination of an older woman and a younger man, platonic odd couple. It's a true story. It's based on historical injustice being set right uh, on this uh, globetrotting adventure. Now, the historical injustice involves a famous painting by an artist called Gustav Klimt. The painting is a portrait of Adele Blochbauer. And I mean, it's known as the woman in gold because she's mm. kind of swathed in gold leaf. And in the opening scene, we see this painting being painted. That painting was, it fell into the hands of the Nazis during the Second World War and ended up on the wall of a museum in Vienna. And Helen Mirren, who plays the descendant of the lady who posed for the painting, wants to get it back. And here she is enlisting the help of Ryan Reynolds' uh, lawyer. My aunt, Adele. My uncle commissioned Gustav Klimt to paint her. It's quite a painting. It's magnificent. She was taken off the walls of our home by the Nazis. And since then, she's been hanging in the Belvedere Gallery in Vienna. And now you'd like to be reunited. Wouldn't that be lovely? Make you a rich woman, I'm sure. Do you think that's what this is about? No, I have to do what I can to keep these memories alive. because people forget, you see, especially the young. And then, of course, there's justice. Helen Mirren there. There we are. And now, so this is, you can see this Philomena-like uh, setup. And although it ticks so many boxes, as, as we said, you know, it is this kind of drama, odd couple, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work in many ways that Philomena does work because Philomena, you had that fantastic thing of the false kindness of the Catholic Church in Ireland where they were trying to, you know, they thought they were being helpful, but not. You had that really interesting performance from Steve Coogan, like nothing that he's done. And Judy Dench, we, we know, you know, what it's Judy funny. Dench can do, <laughs> but she's funny and she's, you know, she's kind of on peak form there. And also what Philomena did, which I completely love, is that it never gave either character the upper hand over the other for, for too long, you know. Yeah. Uh, Steve Coogan was the, played the sceptic, the doubter, uh, and, and Judy Dench played the this kind of woman of faith and it didn't ever say you know one of these uh credos is the right way to go it kind of let that play um women in gold just doesn't do that at all the austrians who are trying to protect the painting are i mean effectively really in quite bad taste i thought portrayed as the de descendants of the nazis you know kind of strutting around we will keep this painting at all costs all yeah. costs yeah. and they don't entertain any possibility that it should perhaps go back to her but by the same token helen mirren's character doesn't entertain the, the idea that you know, maybe this painting kind of belongs to the public and it should be seen. You know, she obviously says she doesn't just want it for money. She wants it to set this historical injustice right. Mm. But there's never a sense in which her own beliefs are being challenged or Ryan Reynolds. And by the way, his lawyer character has this pregnant wife played by Katie Holmes, who kind of sits at home and is happy to see him give up his hotshot LA lawyer's job in order to pursue this. And then, you know, when he's feeling down, say, no, you know, go for it. We've got a mortgage. We've got another kid on the way. But never mind that, you know, you can save this woman's painting. And it just doesn't ring true. You know, it's beige, 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 beige. Even like the, the, with the comparisons to Philomena as well, like even the car scenes, you know, those car scenes in Philomena between Steve Coogan and, the, and on the airplane as well, when they're travelling together, those moments are so special within that film and they've even lifted that into this film as well you know those kind of traveling scenes when they're when they're on their way to the airport and she wants to get there early so she can do some duty free shopping and things like yeah, that. yeah it's, 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 it's very very odd how much the two films match up but then you know it, it's one of these cases where on paper very similar on the screen totally different 